I was going to make a Scarface joke. Would that be funny? <laughs> I'm excited because I have not had lunch and I'm about to make chicken cutlet sandwiches. You can think of them as fried chicken sandwiches, except there's no deep frying. So there's a bunch of things besides that to like about this recipe. The first thing is, even though it looks slightly horrifying right now, skinless boneless chicken thighs are probably our favorite cut of chicken in the Bon Appetit test kitchen. The reason we love dark meat is because it has higher fat content than the breasts. So they get very crispy, but they also have their own kind of natural juiciness. All right, so what I'm doing with the mallet is pounding the chicken down to about a quarter of an inch. That does two things. It's giving you an even thickness all the way across so that you also have even cooking and making it a little bit thinner than it was when it came off of the bird means it's gonna cook a little bit faster. So it's a quick step. You could also put the chicken inside of like a heavy duty freezer Ziploc bag. And that is really nice because it just keeps everything contained. Ta-da! Fling! All right, so we've got our salt and pepper. Because these are breaded and there's not a ton of seasoning in the breading, it's really important to get a good seasoning right on the chicken itself. I think it's just really important to season at every stage and then seasoning when they're done. Now we're gonna talk about the dredge. There's a couple of things that make this dredge different from other dredges. It is an egg, flour, breadcrumb dredge, except instead of flour, it's cornstarch. It gives you a really crisp dredge. Now I'm adding two tablespoons of mustard. So it's gonna give it some nice kick. That is one ingredient that adds a lot of different flavors. And then one teaspoon of cayenne. The key thing between the first two steps, the cornstarch and the egg, is to get a really even coating on the cutlet. If there's any bald spots, the breading doesn't adhere and no love from the crispy coating. So like, this is a good example. This little edge of the chicken was folded over when I was dredging, and so that little part didn't get any cornstarch dredge. So the cornstarch is there so the egg has something to stick to, and the egg is there so that the panko has something to stick to. You're like, oh my God, they make everything there, but they're using store-bought Japanese breadcrumbs. That's because panko is kind of unparalleled. It is a fantastically, perfectly dried, but not uniform breadcrumb texture. There's kind of no pride in making your own breadcrumbs for a cutlet, just get panko. They're kind of perfect. All right, now we're gonna fry cutlets. I have a large skillet that was magically preheated for me. About two tablespoons of oil. This is olive oil, but you could use any kind of vegetable or canola oil. I put a little panko in the oil, and when it's golden brown, you know your oil is hot enough. So I'm frying these. We're at a medium high, I would say. If you put the chicken cutlet in the pan and there was no sizzling and no action, it's not hot enough. It will eventually cook, but it's not gonna get crispy. Ooh, golden brown. All right, you can see what happens when you're making a video and you don't pay close enough attention, and I do, I have a bald spot. That means the breadcrumb didn't adhere. So whoever gets that one is gonna have one bite where they're like, why is this bite not as good as all the other bites? So second side goes faster than the first. You're never gonna get the same amount of browning on the second side, so just don't chase that dream. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a dying, it's a dying dream. <gasps> the toast fairy was here. The slaw has already been made. Why do you need to have slaw on a crispy chicken cutlet sandwich? This is juicy, fatty, crunchy, hot. This is cool, juicy in a watery way, not a hot oil way. A lot of texture, a lot of freshness. And then it's not like I'm gonna make a crispy chicken cutlet sandwich without mayonnaise. And this is a Pullman. If you prefer a hoagie, knock yourself out. Get a hoagie roll, get a hero, get a Kaiser. I'm not gonna have a big fit about it. You wanna use a potato roll? Meh, okay, that's fine. You could totally do that. The only thing I would do differently if this was my own house is I can't do raw onion, but people love it. Oh, even with the dredging situation and the pounding, I think we've been going for like 15 minutes here and that's with a lot of blah, blah, blah. This is totally weeknight doable. You could get your cutlets pounded out by a small child while you're slicing cabbage. This is an epic crispy 
chicken sandwich. No, you just have to trust me, guys. I'm not going to eat this on camera. I'm just not. I'm not doing it. But it is. You <laughs> did you hear it? it? All right, fine. I'll eat the edge. Should we take a video of it? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. See, I got the edge. Mm. 